Yes, I know I missed out on Wednesday. Um, I had a day off. Yes, I had a day off. And I needed some have some time to reflect on a few things um, and just sort of get a good sort of view on what's going on and realise that you know, every now and again I've got to shake myself up and, and realise that a lot of people just they don't have quite the ability to I'm not sure if it's having empathy and it's definitely not sympathising but being able to see the world through somebody else's eyes or understand their point of view and I think this is I don't know, pretty pretty common these days um, the way that you know a lot of people are locked up they constantly look at the media about you know what's going on in this situation They're, the focus has become very very small and tunnel visioned and some people go to the other extreme and you know talk about all oh, the world this and all that but then it's it's a dichotomous and a false equivalency because then they apply different things and situations um, from different cultures and all that into their own point of view and try and justify that um, I mean there's a lot of people who like you know what do you care you don't know you're not this you're not that you have no understanding and you know in some some extent that's true but then if they want to go the other extreme um, I'll say well we're all human beings so how can I not understand um, love loss the feelings that you're having because we're all human we all have feelings so I I find it particularly disturbing I think the way that a lot of people will be really dismissive of other people's point of view or try to impose it and try and get other people to justify their own point of view and then say well you're wrong because it's their point of view it's it's their lived life experience from all the all the information that they get and bring on board so i wonder if you know have you actually talked with someone who has the polar opposite view of yours and have you had a good conversation with him it's not a statement with a question it's not an accusation with a question um it's it's more of an open kind of question I've had a few people say you know what do you care what do you know and I said well a few people um, over the past couple of months I said well I know what I know and what do you know and what's your point of view um, I can see your point of view but you can you try and also see my point of view in that one I come from a different culture we might all be from Western culture but I come from a different culture even even in you know if they're all Australians I'm saying well you know there's different cultures within different states as well different ways of approaching things and different learned experiences broken down to an individual level and have you ever thought that because of that um, the difference I get to see some things from social media and from other people and hear things that they don't I get to hear different points of view or I, I deliberately seek out different points of view. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you know, they're just trash and, and etc. And I go, well, I could say the same about yours. I mean, the whole thing of when someone asks, you know, the, the feeling and the conviction that you feel for whatever it is that you believe in, don't you think that the other side that you disagree with has that same conviction, thought and feeling about you? And, and or about their cause or about what they're thinking and they say well no because you're just delusion you're being lied to and I'm going but that's the same kind of thought and feeling that the other side is having now it's it can be difficult to have a conversation with someone who's the polar opposite of you but I'd like to say have you had a conversation with someone face to face today um, you know if you can face to face if not like actual voice conversation or face you know FaceTime conversation where you can actually see the physical expressions on their face you can hear the tone of their voice or are you just making accusations on flat text where you can't read and interpret stuff 
um, as clearly as you could as if you were in person and reach a better understanding? Are you jumping to immediate conclusions? Like, um, have you even thought about it? I mean, I've had many people jump on to me about stuff that I've posted. I'm like, going, well, have you actually thought about it? Have you looked through everything I've posted? Have you even looked at what I've said about it? And and real recognize my tone or ask the question or have you immediately jumped to the opposite end and got offended or got your hackles up and if so, why do you think that is? You know, why do you think you've immediately jumped to that? Is it because you don't like what I'm saying? You might think that I'm wrong, but it doesn't mean that you're wrong or I'm wrong. I guess that's the thing I've, I've tried to point out to people. Someone can be correct, but wrong. Someone can be logical, but not rational. Someone can be rational, but not reasonable. You know, um, it, it's difficult for people to even think about, particularly at this point in time, when I look at all the signs and symptoms of people and realise that they're really close to battered person syndrome and it they said oh but you know that's to do with spouses so no it doesn't have to do with spouses it has to do with this creating a situation where you feel really dependent on someone else f who's infringing on your rights as a person to the point where you will make excuses and and all that sort of stuff to that person and this is this is a lot of what i'm seeing it's kind of disturbing in a way that it can happen en masse with regards to you know social media and all that and I, I make the um, analogy with you know V for Vendetta and people said I don't understand your point I said well the whole point is is the control aspect that they've learnt control um, of varying different people and, and through media and they've taken over and all sorts of other stuff and people go on oh you know but you know, it's for the greater good, and I'm like, <laughs> well, there is greater good, and there is also a greater good, um, a lot of people I've known have said, you know, you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, I said, well, how about this, it is uncomfortable for you at this point in time to go the opposite of, of you know, to what the herd is doing, and is it uncomfortable for you to now let go of that security? Was it good in the first place and now it's turned bad but you don't know it? Is it like the the frog in the hot water sort of situation that you're going on about? I don't know. Um, I know you can answer that question and if it makes you uncomfortable and if it makes you double down and start accusing people and start uh, accusing them of being Nazis, that they don't believe the science, that they are not you've you've got to think and wonder about what it is that you're being exposed to that could have you have such an extreme point of view there's always going to be points of view on either side but for the most part a lot of people are in the middle and they will look and review the information and new information as it comes up and do their research do their due diligence and I always tell people do their due diligence um, keep calm you know um, there's a lot of people who when they find out things they just absolutely lose their mind and they they start getting hysterical looking at and searching things that are confirming their their um, anxiety and there comes a point when you've got to say stop look for something that's the opposite that will criticize the other information that you have and then the medium is in between stop and wait till you actually get the proper information not just hearsay I don't even look at some of the live um, footage of some things and I go okay well there's the live footage and announcements now I'm gonna wait for the actual proper text the proper rules and regulations for them to be posted and for them to come up to see what is going on because it can be interpreted so many different ways and a lot of people don't clearly read what they are looking at they search for what will confirm um, their belief or fear and to me that's not helpful <laughs> but having to try and explain that to people and getting them to see stuff can be difficult so I wonder if you can actually have a conversation with somebody that is a complete opposite and look for something that you have in common um, and try and see 
okay, we have that in common, I, I see your point, rather than, you know, um, I guess, trying to keep yourself in a hole, <laughs> I should say, keep yourself in a hole. And I'm thinking, and this comes off from yesterday's, the Are You OK Day, a lot of people go around randomly asking people if they're okay and uh, I didn't and a lot of people say well aren't you a cruel person well no I, I don't think I am but there comes a time when people need to be stopping asking if someone is okay because that will just get them focused on a lot of the negative stuff and the bad things that are happening to them and go okay so what what good is happening in your life how are your plants going how is your pet you know how is your promotion going how are th how is this other thing and it might be a little frustrating for them but it's also something that will give them something else to focus on um, and it's not a denying that they are, have issues and all that but it's I feel at this point in time that dwelling and getting maudlin over issues is not helpful for some people and that there is a time when you go that's that's enough of the being positive in a passive way and it's time to I don't know get the boot and kick you up the butt and say look there's people that care about you and we love you we hate seeing you like this but ultimately you are going to have to decide what you're going to focus your life on um, but having said that a lot of people say that you're not empathic you can lose empathy and I've seen a lot of people lose it um, but yeah it's just one of those things anyway rambled on long enough and it's a Friday getting a bit too maudlin for Friday um, have a conversation with somebody today stranger or whatever someone who has a complete opposite that you usually fight with over something and see if you can actually go, okay, what is it that we have in common? You know, what are the polar opposites on, on the view? And uh, see if you can actually understand um, where they're coming from. Not just dismiss it as, oh, they're, they're you know, being lied to, they're ignorant and all that sort of stuff. I'll tell you one thing, having a degree, having a lot of letters after your name does not mean you're ignorant, does not mean you're smart. I can tell you that now. I've met many smart people who have no degrees, who are not professors, who don't have the high flying jobs. And people say, well, how, how are they smart? You know, they're struggling, they, they work in the dirt, and blah, blah, blah. I said, well, they're smart because that's the way they want to live. And they're smart enough to have their life the way they want to live, other than having, you know, a degree and having a job that you hate, but you're getting a lot of money for it. Is that smart? Anyway. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good weekend. Keep calm. Stay kinky. And have a conversation. Bye.